Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Up, right hand corner. We've got Kaido starting as the Peach Zerg, bottom left hand corner. We have Refrigerator himself starting as the Pink Protoss. Oops, bumped the mic. Refrigerator, if you have been tracking absolutely all of my games, you'll know that he was part of the Infested Star League. Very active guy out in the community. Fun dude altogether. It was nice to actually finally meet him at the LAN. I wish I actually got more time with Refrigerator in particular. Him and, uh, yeah. And Wanted to spend a good amount of time with him and uh, Urban and Artosis, of course, and Jayun because Jayun's an old friend of mine. I feel like I just didn't get the, uh... yeah, it was like all business, all business. Oh, well. Kaido is a guy that a lot of people had a massive amount of respect for, but I had not heard about him or his playstyle or really a lot about him up, up until the LAN, primarily because he is known as a 2v2 player, uh, primarily, but... His skills in 1v1 apparently are quite formidable. And so much so that people were expecting him to go very deep in the bracket. And there was a question, even a question as to, okay, Striker's probably the best Zerg here, but Kaido, arguably not that far behind. Uh, got to co-cast with him, which was fun, and it was nice meeting him all together. It looks like Fridge sending out a pretty early scout after Pylon dropping Forge to make sure you can see whether it was an early hatchery or not, knowing whether it needs to dedicate two cannons or not. Looks like we are looks like we had an overpool opposite side from Kaido, so Kaido playing it very, very safe. Which I think is wise, actually, on a two-player map versus a Protoss player where you feel like you might have the skill edge, I think, because maybe you feel like you can macro your way back in a little bit, but also uh, get those additional Zerglings out just in case there was any sort of proxy hatch player, or uh, proxy hatch, pro uh, proxy gateway player, anything like that. Fridge a little bit slow on getting these cannons up, which is Danger Town, considering the spawning pool is going to finish right this second. Usually you want that cannon down pretty rapidly, at least two to start. Looks like he's going to try to sneak it with one. Some players have been able to sneak it with one, a gateway blockade, and a uh, additional press from here, but I kind of, the refrigerator playing a little bit risky, so it's just assuming, but he's going to, this will pay off. Because it's only going to be the two Zerglings. So it looks like he was going to wait and pull drones in case there were additional Zerglings. But this time confirming, yep, just two. <coughs> Excuse me. Getting the Nexus down behind it. Zerglings doing a pretty good job of zoning out. But no gas yet from Kaido. So it looks like he wants to go for a quick three hatch before a gas play. To follow up that overpool, and we'll see if he drones pretty heavily, grabbing the gas now at 247, which is a pretty good indicator that you shouldn't expect early aggressive mutals play. 973 isn't out of the question, although it would come at uh, the later gas take. You know that the basically that layer tech's coming somewhat later down the line. It stacks up. You guys get what I'm saying here. Nexus Online gateway warping in. Kaido spotting that also kind of a sizable gap here that Fridge has made. Usually you'll see it hugging in the, the zealots on the other side gap, but also getting a good look at that front door. Still only sticking to the two Zerglings and continuing to macro. Going to block with the ramp in the meantime as he approaches 100 gas to deny any additional information. Fridge doing a good job. Ooh, a nice little shot from the drone as he's making his way across. Let's see if Fridge sends out another drone keeps his alive. He's dropped an Assimilator and a Cybernetic score. So, oh, we didn't get the, I think, a little bit of Tournament Nerves. A later probe transfer as well for Refrigerator. And yeah, it looks like the probe after its recharge shield is going to circle back around. Really wants to get a look at the saturation at the second and might want to go ahead and move up and confirm that third. It's kind of Danger Town moving up into this 1 o'clock base though because you have to go up and down the ramp and if the Zerglings just hold position here... <laughs> They can blockade that probe in and get some free shots on that turnaround. Rich doing a great job with the... I gotta say, kudos to him. Really good job of keeping this probe alive up to this stage. And nice reaction right there. Against the additional Zerglings. Really making it tough on Kaido. Microing here on the front. In the meantime, Kaido is teching to Lair. Looks like he's going to go for 3-hatch Mutalisk. Potentially into 4-hatch. Follow-up. Cannon down. Overlord going to check the... This is like old school meta right now. <coughs> Checking the Stargate in the main. Confirming that it is in fact constructing. And has dropped that Spire. I assume this is going to be with the 4-hatch. Finally catching that probe. 
with eight zerglings out on the front. A couple zealots blockading the ramp. This is kind of the difficult thing for this. One of the big reasons that Gateway First has become so popular. We have, <coughs> excuse me, something in my throat. Is a uh, plus one weapons coming out, but right now there's not a lot of zealots to to move out and get that extra scouting information or force uh, additional zerglings. So it kind of in this hatch uh, hatch style, basically, it just kind of sits back and lets your opponent macro up. Plus one weapons being upgraded. Citadel of a Dune drop, so it looks like Refrigerator going to try to play that Dark Templar style initially. This is going to be five hatch, uh, the fold back to five hatch Hydra, so the Spire really wants to try to take out that initial Scourge. And unfortunately, I feel, I'm not going to say it's a hard counter, but five hatch Hydra tends to play very, very well versus the DT style. Mostly because you can get Overlords and Hydralisks up in open field. If you follow it up with that Overlord speed upgrade, you can start hunting those Hydralisks down. <coughs> Oof. Still having trouble. Preventative Photon Cannon in the main from Fridge. I like seeing that. A lot of players will sometimes skip that and end up opening themselves to a quick end game. Scourge spawning right here. Fridge getting a good solid amount of scouting information. He's looking sharp, I have to say. Second Corsair out. This is going to be a sizable investment, though, because the plus one weapons on top of sizable amounts of Corsair means these Corsair need to get Overlord kills to start. And let's see if the Scourge are able to... The secondary aspect of these Scourge <coughs> they can kind of float around. Confirm the gateway count. Confirm the tech as well by sneaking into the main. Seven Zealots out in the front. Seeing the double gateway, seeing the, Citadel, the Temple Archives, but critically, seeing that spinning cybernetic score and that should be a big indicator that okay this is going to be aggressive corsair play and we do see an immediate overlord speed upgrade being dropped evolution chamber up this is going to move up to six hatch play now for kaido and a couple more scourge running their way out the zealots in sizable numbers here not a lot of zerglings down but grouped up with the Corsair. The Corsair aren't in sufficient numbers to really be out here in open field, even with the plus one weapons. Yeah. Ooh, he was lucky he didn't end up losing one right there. Yeah, it's just not enough to shred through the Scourge. Two additional gateways being dropped. We aren't seeing... So we're seeing High Templar rather than Dark Templar being constructed. Maybe an adjustment to that scouting information. <coughs> and the Corsairs, yeah, need to build up and sit back for the time being. The, the Scourge scouting the Zealots as leg speed kicking in. So Fridge kind of hitting an off-timing Zealot push. He doesn't have the same amount of Zealots he would have had he opened up Gateway first, potentially. But now moving out, only with four Corsair, though, drawing the Scourge to the one o'clock, finding nothing there, so letting that happen. And there's just too many Hydralisks there at the natural expansion and their range about to kick in. So these are well-protected overlords for Kaido across the board, and look, nice Scourge follow-up there by Kaido, just really utilizing them to their maximum capability here. <coughs> now, unfortunately for Fridge, he's actually close to even on supply. And this is, again, why that Forge first style has really dropped out of popularity. This is right now, and look at the Scourge just really pinning. I think they might be on move command with these Zealots, tracking them down, and they're getting hunted now. Yeah, Kaido looking really, really sharp. I feel bad for Fridge, actually. I feel like if he had faced someone else in the bracket, he might have been able to sneak a win out of this. But right here, Kaido just responding beautifully across the board, ahead in worker count, nearly ahead in supply. Picks off a Corsair right there, and now in a contained slash bus situation. A decent size storm, though, for Fridge. Another good size storm, catching a lot of the Hydralisks. <coughs> Overlord gets taken out on the front. Forge goes down. But now Fridge in a risky situation where he's got a lot of Hydralisks out and he actually needs to push against this because Kaido's also taking this 11 o'clock base. The Zelts are marching out. Good split from Kaido. He's trying to flee. He's going to bleed some Hydralisks out of this, but able to rescue a good portion of them. Although he didn't draw this group of Hydralisks far enough back, it looks like. Fridge out for blood. Plus one weapons, plus one armor. Now upgrading at the secondary forge. <coughs> and I'm sorry, I'm going to cough through this commentary for some reason. I had a cold earlier in the week, but I thought I was mostly over it. I suppose not. Robotics facility dropping. And now Fridge 
He's got a lot of zealots in open field. But he is yet to spot this additional base going up for Kaido. Kaido's already in an extremely strong economic position. Look at this drone saturation at these bases. I even missed some drones right there. Whoop! Get them all. Fully saturated across the board. A few skirmishes in open field, but ref yeah, Fridge... Right now needs to press into this, and I'm not sure that he, he just doesn't have the information because of those Corsair getting pressed out of the field. And so Kaido <coughs> moving into a really smothering style here. He's got all sorts of Corsair. He's got the High Templar alongside. Whiff of a side storm right there, and that's going to be a large portion of Refrigerator's ability to combat this army. A Lurker already out in the front as well, and just that single Lurker without the Observer support. Going to push a lot of this back, and you can see where that heavy investment into Corsair, <coughs> delaying the uh, follow-up robotics tech, is really hurting Refrigerator at this stage of the game. Trying to draw, yeah, having to draw those zealots back, because you recognize, despite actually having a decent attack troop to maybe engage this, knowing that that lurker's there without the observer support, having to draw back. Still don't see an observer out in the field as of yet. Big gateway flood from Fridge. He's even on supply right now, but he needs to get a move on because this base is now saturating, and I'm looking for Kaido to now start hitting the gas pedal on all... He's got all sorts of hatcheries to start building units. It looks like a zealot going to check top left, but let's see if it can get to the, 11, the, the northern location to discover this base. And this... Yeah, this absolutely is going to make refri Refrigerator's heart sink, so he moves in, but he sees it, but is it too late? <clears throat> He's got to gather his forces and move and get a move on rapidly. Don't see I still don't see an observer with this attack force. Psy Storm's being dropped. Starting to march out with that trooping. It looks like he has a zealot blockading bottom right. He's moving up his own zealots to maybe grab his own 9 o'clock. Surfacing a probe that direction. But now Kaido surging ahead in supply. Some Hydralisks chasing down that probe. It doesn't look like that Oh, man, doesn't look like that Nexus is going to have an opportunity. As that probe getting sniped, a few Hydralisks getting blockaded, but that was well worth the trade. And now Fridge in a mess, a heap of trouble. Massive amounts of Hydralisks at all directions. The upgrades at <coughs> plus two, and they're growing. Lurker's taking the field as well, and Kaido has a massive economy. To support this. High Templar getting picked off. Good size storm. Lurker's moving in as well. It looks like the Observer not getting picked off, fortunately. But that Lurker's still not being focus fired. Not that it needs to be focus fired because Refrigerator's army is just getting wrecked. Oof. Devastating. And Kaido can just rebuild this. You can see the supply differential now with the follow up production capabilities. Lurker's storming in. The few Dragoons that Refrigerator has left now battling Lurkers in open field, which is what they want, but the Observer is also getting picked off. And now, that 9 o'clock base is looking less and less likely for Refrigerator, and the Hydralis production continues en masse for Kaido. Yikes. Looks like another probe was able to sneak out, trying to get a cannon up, but another attack trooping of Hydralis able to sneak in, an observer sweeping across, able to clean up the lurkers, but not not sufficient to keep those probes alive. The observer is getting picked off once again. Fortunately for Fridge, there's no additional lurkers here. But the Hydralisks now swarming the meager amount of zealots that are out in the field. Also, the lurkers morphing to burrow the units out. And now Kaido with a massive supply lead diving into the natural expansion and fridge he's got three cannons and not a lot else calling gg right there brutal that's a skill win right there for kaido refrigerator did not play poorly at all that was kaido just playing magnificently is what that looked like wow great play from kaido hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for listening